what's up everybody my name is rob and uh we're doing pokemon black today where i am about to go on vacation so hopefully i can pump out a few episodes here for you guys to stay satiated while i'm gone uh last time we were kind of journeying up this way we oh, we unlocked our other tyranitar encounter we also um just kind of worked our way up here i'm trying to remember what we did it's been it's been like two days uh, we we unlocked a couple fossils, and we also caught a wild rock rock which I decided to not go with because I personally just like Dire. So the team is as follows. It is Gyro, Styx, Guitar, Colossus, Dire, and Pacifist. So the goal today is to get good old Guitar up to, up to level 30. Oh man, that stinks. Getting a wild encounter here means I have to fight that lady, and that stinks. <laughs> Let's get Guitar up to level 30 today because he evolves at level 30 and will become much, much more useful once he's in Electabuzz. He, I feel like he's going to get like plus 20 to attack and special attack and plus 10 to de both defenses, I think. I'm not sure, but it's, it should be big. Speaking of Electabuzz, here's his counterpart, Magmar. I should have a pretty easy time with him, though. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Styx, actually. Styx, a good special defender, especially with Eviolite, and, uh, knows a water move. So we can keep it with the babies. Confuse Ray, that kind of sucks. We'll just try, we'll try one Brian. Like, Magmar typically, um, it feels like whenever I fight Magmar in the main game, he never really, it's like stands up to his potential i never fight a magmar that comes out and is just pelting me with fire blast and and just obliterating me it never really happens so i i i, I guess we could take a chance here but we might but now that he, we miss we might as well go with closet smoke screen see it hasn't even attacked yet it's kind of weird now assuming we hit i'm gonna go with bulldoze it's more accurate and we should ko either way Bank attack will do Nothing? See, that would have been a great move against the Psychic type. I'm, I'm we it, surprising to me that the PC doesn't, doesn't go with that. But whatever. Good win, Colossus. And Blossom is next. Um, well, sticks. I believe it is Grass Poison. Oh no, it's pure Grass. Um. But it is a special defender, not a physical defender. So even though this is neutral, this should still do some damage. Blossom, of course, was very helpful in my Pokemon Emerald playthrough, I feel like. Was it Emerald? Maybe it wasn't, but I, a Pokemon I never raised before, but turns out it's a super good special defender. Like, it's super good. Luckily, Psyshock has defense. So it doesn't really do anything as far as defending. But, hey, the babies kind of ruled the day. Because they're leading off the team, and that's good. So Styx also has the ability to get to level 32, which will provide the middle evolution for him. I want to say her every time, but it's a him. Oh, thanks for the berry, lady. Uh, I don't want to fight that guy. Trainer tips. You can register a certain item with Y. That feels like a really late stage to tell somebody that. Oh dear, your Pokemon somehow they don't seem wet. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Great. And it's about the it's about the season to go to Celestial Tower on Route 7. I have to ring the bell for my cotton. Mister, here have this. A shiny stone. Oh cool, okay. Um I don't know what that evolves. Maybe Clef Clefairy? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but hey, we have that. Um, it's Charge Stone Cave up there, but I don't know what's down here. So this is still the same route that we just came off of. It is not considered Charge Stone Cave. So no, I do not have to catch that pansy. <laughs> Thank God. I feel like... It's like clearly marked like there should be something over here. Wow, Togetic. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. 
Nope, nothing over here. That's weird. It's like a... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Latios. <laughs> I might actually KO this for the experience, because I think Colossus should be able to do it pretty easily. Especially if it's Safeguard. I think its only move is, like, Psy Wave, and then it learns Luster Purge, like, way later. But either way, both Psychic can't even hurt me. So we get some free bites in. Damn, dude, Colossus, you are a ug. Oh, that knows helping hand. Everybody wants the legendary that knows helping hand. Good level for Colossus, who once again our level cap is set at 32. So we will be okay for him as well, probably. Uh we don't need to heal. Ooh. An unknown, okay. Screw that. So now we have Charstone Cave, which is nice, because I totally forgot um, that this cave was here and in existence. So we should get an encounter here as well, which is awesome. Thanks for a wait. Oh, I forgot. I also forgot what we were doing on this route. We came on this route to meet this gym leader so he could give me my TM. But he was being real aloof about it. Looks looks like the nest of any lift type Pokemon like Galvantrum. Don't know why there's nests here, but if there are folks having problems, the trainer, the gym leader's the one to fix it. Krogorok, take it out. <laughs> take it out, Krogorok. Do what you can. Uh, I like what it hits a spider web. I don't think that's how spider webs are designed. They're designed to take contact, I feel like. There's a TM for you. There's my favorite TM, so you can teach it all your Pokemon. It's Sky Uppercut. Sick. Especially since I'm about to have a Blaziken that learns Sky Uppercut naturally. Um, it's normally Bulldoze, so it should be learnable by a lot of people. Bulldoze is a pretty common, a pretty common move. Where is it? Colossus can learn it. But he already knows Ground, Dark, and Rock. Does he need a fighting move? Probably not. Probably not. We'll see. Maybe later he'll learn one, but for now, I don't think he needs a fighting move. We'll keep Screech in case... We fight like a super defensive Pokemon, or if we fight N, come. <laughs> They're like this way, sir. Takes two steps north. Okay, you're you're here, my lord N. We've brought the one you wanted. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> he kind of gave that look, like whoa, shit, it's Rob. I expect you to be here. Ah, yes, that was the Shadow Triad. Just now, Geddes enlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently, they are the ones who prepared the Galvantula Nest at the cave entrance. Wouldn't a Galvantula prepare the Galvantula Nest at the cave entrance? That's just me. Charstone Cave, I like this place. No. Hmm. You don't understand what that means? It's not likely to surprise you. I told Geddes about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the Shadow Triad to find out about you. Shadow is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that she is... <laughs> Not everyone can become stronger. Wow, he really wrecks Bianca, huh? And you are not swayed either way. More of a, a neutral presence, which is apparently a good thing. d Plus will be waiting for you ahead. Gaddis wants to test you. Okay. Huh. Okay. I, I guess that's what we're doing. Let's get our encounter in Chargestone Cave. I think we have plenty of Pokeballs. Oh. I should probably put Gyro in front, too, since he puts Pokemon to sleep. Rob, oh, did you know this? The Flood of Stones moving to touch him. This is a perfect example of modern Pokemon games holding your hand way, way, way too much. Hi there, how are you, Rob? Place always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges rash from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. So not all the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon. Uh, he knows how to get what he wants from people, but I was already interested in that anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh, yes, Rob, this is for you. Lucky egg, okay, cool. That's actually pretty useful, but I feel like we don't need it. Maybe for, like, a little while. But Bianca coming and telling you that you can move this rock is super dumb and useless. Because as a trainer, you would come up... Oh, well, let's get our encounter. And then rant continues. <laughs> it's a Pichu! Or a Minin, or whatever. I'll catch it out of pure necessity. Low kick. It weighs like two pounds. Low kick can't possibly do that much. 
Yeah. Maybe Shockwave, even though... Even though it's resisted. Oh, that's good. Static doubles my chances of catching it. Or increases my chances by 50% of catching it. Alright, you know what? It's a mining. I am just going to throw an Ultra Ball and we're going to get out of here. That's going to be that. That is going to be that. Alright. Mine's data was added to the Pokedex. Cheers on friends. If it's friends are losing, it's Bonnie lets off more and more sparks. Nickname name to mine in. Yes. I'm going to call him... Uh, I'm going to call him... Whoops. Minus. <laughs> He's just a minus sign. Because why wouldn't he be? All right. Uh, pop that over there. So, oh, so what I was saying is that there's no need for Bianca to come and tell you that the rock moves because the only direction that you can go is where the rock is. So the game is already designed to be moved um, for you to have to move the rock. And then you would come to this spot and try and push it like I just did, but then you go, oh, I have to push it this way, I guess. And then you'd notice that it always goes to a big rock and there'd be no explanation necessary. It would just be an actual exploration. You know, not Bianca coming through like, my dad hates me. And also, you can push this rock if you want. That's it. All right. Um, hopefully, we don't have this encounter at the whole time because this is getting a little ridiculous. Spiritomb. That would have been an interesting encounter. Pokemon, I don't think I've ever really raised either. And I know, I think it's only weak to one thing. Hopefully, I can skip that guy since he's spazzing out. And get an odd incense, which reduces accuracy. Boost psychic type moves. Incenses are usually worth a lot, so that's actually a pretty nice pickup. All right, skip, skip that guy. Um, whoops, a Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect him to come all the way down. I will test you to see whether you have what it takes to aim for the Pocket Monster League. Aha! Cool. What you got, bro? He's got one Pharisee. Interesting. Um, as a Grass Steel type, he should be weak. Neutral to Flying? And neutral. Neutral to flying and neutral to poison? Although, does steel completely disregard poison or is it resisted? Either way, we're gonna go with flying. We should be. Ooh, that's gonna do some damage. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> kinda thought it was, but. Well, if it hits five times, it does. See how much air slash does? I'm hoping it's neutral. It is. And it made it flinch. Perfect. Mirror shot. I have not a clue what that is, but... Hey, it didn't do too much damage. Ah, uh, Okay. Back-to-back -back misses, really? Try this one more time. <laughs> Almost missed my way to a victory there. Or to a loss there. Gargoth grows to 27. Great. Guitar continues to grow. We gotta get you up to 30. And we have actual electric coverage. Not like, hey, if a Phoebus comes out, we can zap it. Like actual electric coverage. Um, we gotta heal up. Alright. Back to battle. So I guess I have to go south here? It doesn't really look like... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like I have anywhere to push that second rock, but apparently I do. <gasps> it's more Storyline! Hi there, do you find something? I think we're just about done collecting data. Gabe's been around since the... You think they'd walk up and be like, yo. Was that Team Plasma? <laughs> where Pokemon come from and where they are going. Where did you... Where did Pokemon come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I wonder why there's. Uh, I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. 
That rock seemed completely unnecessary to move. Um, let's go this way. Hello, sir. I'm a hiker. It's boring case. I will teach you the harness... The harness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles. The harness... Harshness of life. Gee, Jeez. Tiny text. Tired eyes. Oh, he's got Thunderous. Cool. Um... I don't really know what type that is, so I'm going to go with sticks and tickle it. <laughs> That's my game plan. Revenge. That's good. I resist that. It also lets me know that it knows a fighting move so I can keep Tyranitar a away from this battle. Tickle it! Oh, no, it's bite. That's not good. Ooh. We'll still get a tickle off, so not bad. Attack fell, defense fell. Um, it was a fighting move, so that knocks Dire out of the equation. And it was Bite, so that kind of knocks Gyro out of the equation. Pacifist. I feel like Thunderous would know a flying move, right? Let's try Pacifist. Right? It's a Thunderous. It's a cloud Pokemon. <laughs> Revenge. See, that's good. Okay, cool. Let's... Gunk shot it and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Its defense is lowered one stage. It's a strong move. Wow. All right. Turns out Pacifist is the Thunderous Killer. That's good. Because otherwise I was kind of screwed. Because uh, being dark rock means... Tyranitar is four times weak to fighting. Which I always forget. I always think he's... I always know that he's weak to fighting. But I always forget that he's four times weak to fighting, which is devastating. Um, light screen. I'm actually gonna get rid of Swift. Never gonna use Swift. So we might as well get the... I can lower the defense with Leer. I can raise my special defense with light screen. Good to go. Loudred is next. Um, Loudred is a pretty weak Pokemon. Go with Dire? Maybe we can just bite it to death? Oh, and I have Intimidate, too. Oh, I always forget that. So he, it lowers his, his stab normal moves already. This should do half. Perfect. Oh, with a flinch. Good work, Dia. You are my favorite little wolf. So cool. All right. Just got to heal up. Sticks. I think Pacifist is good to go at 52. That's such a defensive Pokemon. And we can go... Find another mining. I think I have one or two repels. Let's see if I can find it. Super repel. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can actually get around here. Whoop. Oh, this is like an exit apparently. Okay. I guess we're going south. Zoom. Oh, God. Need a hand crossing this bridge, Grandma? Come. <laughs> so funny. Uh, there are stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma's waiting for you there. Seriously, what's the point of that? They didn't help me at all. They didn't fight me. They didn't increase my storyline experience. They didn't do anything. I love this place. Electricity charges up my inspiration. Very nice way of putting it. Beedrill! Oh, cool. The Pokemon that is... Oh, so awesomely designed, and oh, so poor. Um, I'm gonna go with Dire, because Beedrill's defense is laughably low. I don't think Dark's weak against Bug. I hope I don't learn something new here today. That's special. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Toxic Spites? That's fine. It's a wasted turn, because I'm not gonna switch out. Really? That's all that did? Looks like spikes again. Okay. Spikes have been scattered. Pursuit. <laughs> oh, no! Cool. That's a free level for Dire. We'll see how good his attack is. It is... 64. Eh, 
Not great, but his defense is surprisingly higher than I expected. It probably makes more sense to raise Croc Rock, but god dang if I don't like this freaking wolf. It's a wolf. It's a wolf. If I get to the final battle and it's like uh, Dyer's the last Pokemon left and Muck is the other last Pokemon left and I, like I can't pull out the victory because I don't know a ground move to defeat Muck, <laughs> then I'll be like, oh, I should have had Croc Rock. But until then, it should be fine. Blitzel! That would have been a cool encounter, although I think I still would have stuck with Guitar, I think. Uh, double battle. Ruffling battle. Huh. Blitzel! Oh, I should put somebody at a higher level in front. <laughs> I kind of thought 26 would be high enough. Let's... Swap gyro in front. Just for now to get that repel to actually work. Oh, well. Looks like I'm actually going the right way. Ooh, Janna! Oh, how cute. Nah. Don't need to fight you. Alright. Did we make it? Is this the end? No. This is... Well, I got an escape rope. That's nice. I can't... This is like an exit out of the cave. Okay. I suppose we're not going the right way. I really don't want to fight this double battle. Uh... There we go. We got 100 more steps in us. Good. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to push that rock, but I did. <laughs> okay. We got a revive! Oh, what's that? That couldn't possibly do anything. Oh, well, this is clearly the right way. There's a hundred bad guys. And a graveler! How cute! Let's side beam it. Special defense is so low that side beam should do quite a bit. Wasn't really thinking about the flying typing there. <laughs> Was more so thinking about, you know, the psychic typing. Whoops. That, uh, that'll get you. That would have been a very frustrating loss right before all these battles. Instead, Jaraglyph holds on. Alright. Boop. What do we got? You! You came here because someone manipulated you. If you can win against me, I will tell you the secret. Someone manipulated me? Was it Professor Juniper? He's got Sharpedo. Hmm. That's a terrible matchup. Let's... Oh, Pacifist. Yes, Pacifist is a physical defender, and of course, can Razor leave Sharpedo into Oblivion. Swagger. Ooh. That's an interesting one. Hmm. Old Razor Leaf. God damn it. Uh oh. You screech. You missed. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is use a full restore. That way I get rid of this confusion, get to keep the swagger. It should be okay for whatever Sharpedo does. His defense lower, that's fine. I outspeed. And I hit. Oh, thank god. <laughs> it's always a it's always a risk when you're playing with Razor Leaf. Boom. What's next? Chandelure. It is fire type, so I do have to switch. That sucks. Um it does also ghost type, so go dire. Think about it. Think, Rob, think! Chandelure! Very cool Pokemon. Dope. Oh, that stinks. That's an aw What an awesome ability. <gasps> Hex does double damage. Oh!
Rocker Rock it is. <laughs> Dude, that's thing. So if I didn't get Flame Body there, I probably wouldn't have died because Hex does double damage if you have a status effect on you. So it crit and did double the damage that it normally would. So I was kind of screwed there. Imagine getting, imagine your Dark Tide getting knocked out by a not effective Ghost move. But hey, Guitar gets all that experience for that, so that's good. And Muck is next. I'm actually going to go with Styx here. Because Styx has um, a physically attacking Psychic move, which means it hits Muck's much lit weaker defense. Oh boy. His much weaker defense while also being super effective still. If it hits. It does indeed actually hit. Sludge. Ooh. That's good. Alright, we hit. Take two. Oh, hell yeah. Hit one more time, please. Man, the status effects right now are killing me. That shock hits, though, so that's a KO, right? Alright. Damn. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of a cave, so we can't go get Vespaquin or Krakorok. So we just have to kind of chill with only five people. Wants to learn Flatter, which confuses the foe, but also raises a special attack. I'm good. If I wanted, to, if I'm worried about their special attack, I'll just attack them fast. Or if I'm worried about their attack, I'll just lower their lower their attack with Tickle. I, I don't know. Okay, let's Super Potion Sticks, and we got to Antidote him as well. The good news is that Sticks with the Eevee Light has actually been pretty useful. Dare I say, actually part of the team. Elekid still wasn't, even with the Eevee Light, because his defense was so low that even boosting it by 50%, it still sucked. But because uh, Gathidas is actually solid, Cranny Dose. It helped a lot. To have hit, uh, to have that Eevee light. It makes it pretty formidable defensively. Let's side beam Cranidos and hopefully we can just get out of here. Good quick claw. Please don't use dark headbutt takedown. Oh, God, that hurts. <laughs> but still KO'd him. Good. Uh, do I have any berries? I don't have any healing berries. That's kind of interesting. I guess they like... I wonder what the odds are of not getting any healing berries. Do I have a regular potion? I don't think I do. I gotta go get some potions after this. Super potion. I'm assuming this is the last... Oh, well, I guess not. There's a lot of people back there. Oh, God. Pokemon living in this Charstone cave are so beautiful because they are free from people. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of effing people standing in the cave right now, bro. Caracosta is a rock water type. Maybe I can put it to sleep. It was Aqua Jet. That's good. That's fine. Ooh, all right. I like that. He's weak against. Oh, he's super weak against uh, Pacifist. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Four times weak to, to, to grass, right? That's how it should be. He does look sick. It's a turtle with freaking rock armor all over him. Wow, really? I guess um, I guess his defense is super high, so maybe that's why. Or maybe he's not actually wa rock water, but he's a fossil, so he has to be rock. And he's a blue turtle. So I'm guessing he's water, so it must just be because his defense is astronomically high. Uh, what's next? Once learn Reflect? I would actually take that over Fly, but I can't. So. Whoops, that's the next town. Alright, we have Larvaste next. Okay, uh, it is a hundred times weak to Rock. <laughs> It's bug fire, so it's four times weak to rock, so a one rock slide will get rid of him. Is that it? Oh, cool. All right.
let's keep trucking. Hopefully these are the last two, because this is this is a lot of Team Plasma members. You, you are the trainer that my Lord N is worried about. Is he now? Is he thinking about me? Is he? Trico! Oh god, it's so scary. Oh good, I forgot that I have Gyro first. That's an easy kill. <laughs> kill. Killing streak. <laughs> UAV unlocked. Nidorino is still weak to Gyro. Man, Gyro coming up good with the typing right now. And why not? You know what? I think we can just one-hit KO why not. With Colossus. I don't think that should be a problem. If it was a Wobbuffet, I'd be a little concerned that the bite would do 90% damage, and then he would come back and kill me. But I think... With why not? It should be pretty easy. Yeah. Why not? Which is just unusable Wobbuffet and Wobbuffet, who's just a super glitch Pokemon. Can I skip you? Oh my God! There's so many more. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I will gladly battle with you. Cusco, Cusco's poison. Poison for Cusco. Oh, 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 good. Um. Pressure. Maybe I can put it to sleep. Aha! First turn sleep. Back to back times. Let's go. That's gonna come back to haunt me later when I really need to sleep and I'm like, ooh, I had those 20 hits in a row earlier. Ooh. Go Colossus. Woke up. Uh oh. No, it's a psychic move. Ha ha ha! It does nothing. That's funny. Um, Rock Slide is four times weak. Flying fire. Weather ball should be normal since it's a sandstorm. Yeah. Four times super effective. You're done, son. Wow, that was 2,000 experience. Jeez, that was a lot. Smear goal, which is normal. You know what? I don't feel like effing around. We're just gonna stick here. Smeargle, I don't, I don't know what it does. <laughs> it copies people's moves and stuff, but I, I don't... We're not going to mess around with it. Oh, good. That's everybody. Okay. That goes there. And I have no choice but to go up. Wow, a Servine. Interesting. So, worst Trico, as I like to call it, shows up. Um, still can't believe that after Trico and Gen 3, they came back with that in Gen 5, and they're like, it's different. Like, it looks pretty similar to me. It's different. The hope of Team Plasma, well, it has nothing to do with you. Okay. Cacnea, oh, that's awesome. That's completely nothing. You're done. Can I get past this person? Yes. Can I sneak past this person without fighting? No. Okay, trainer, you use Pokemon. Show me your strength. It would suck if I didn't have to fight this guy and he had like seven Groudons. <laughs> Thoros. Oh, pretty good still. Oh, it intimidates me. I think Gyro probably could, and I think Pacifist probably could, but I think Colossus would get through this a lot, lot easier. Because if Tauros knows Headbutt, it's going to do some damage. Okay, Tauros doesn't even attack. Uh, I'm going to go with Bulldoze first turn to make sure we outspeed next time. Pursuit does nothing. Did it actually do nothing? <laughs> I hit speed up, and it was like... Oh, that might have actually done nothing. Now Rock Slide KOs. Perfect. God, it's good. God is good when it comes to those le the pseudo legendaries. Metatite.
Look at those sticks. Meditite should be neutral to Psychic. Um, and it should only know fighting and Psychic moves, so I should resist it pretty well. Mind Reader's fine. Yeah, alright, cool. And if it keeps using Mind Reader, we're going to have no problems with anything. I, Meditite has a weirdly smooshed in head in this game, doesn't it? Like an onion that was a little old is starting to shrivel up. I got mad FOMO that if we don't go down here. What is this? Venipi! I will take the free experience. See, now that's a regular person. Or is that a Team Plasma admin? Could I have just gone up and, like, left this cave? Um... Oh, cool. Is this an encounter? No. That just happened to be right when I got to the ball. I was going to say, is this like a secret electric encounter? No. A rare bone! Is that a fossil? A bone that is extremely valuable for Pokemon archaeology can be sold. Maybe I can revive that. Oh, is this the area to unlock, uh, to evolve... What is it, Tynamo or Galvantula or whatever? Wow, Star Raptor, damn. Looking epic. And also looking a little thicker than usual, right? I had a thick Star Raptor. That's funny. Um, come on, oh, I can't believe I ran out of repels. I gotta remember to buy like 50 of those next time. I can't go there. Oh, I can still go south. It's getting a little ridiculous with the amount of battles in this area. I was, like, all ready for this to be a long episode once I saw that it was Team Plasma Battles, but still, this is... This is over the top. Especially with all these... Wow! It's a Drudigan! I would have loved that, dude. Drudigan is a sick Pokemon. I mean, it's super slow, so people don't love it, but... Pure Dragon. You don't find that a lot. Resist one. Actually, I might give that to somebody right now. Um, oh, it's in the this section. Base defense, I will give that to Guitar. And base health, I will give that to Guitar. Try to make him a little bit more bulky. Some people would only give him special attack stuff to make him more of a sweeper. But I need him to live through a couple hits. Whoops. <clears throat> Even in an electrified place like this, if somebody challenges me, I will take that challenge. That, that is an ace strength. So now we're we're not at Team Plasma anymore? What the fuck did I do? I get lost in the charge zone cave? Take a lift. Oh, yo, same Uh, That's a pretty terrible matchup. Let's just go with Colossus. Use a psychic move, nothing happens. Use a flying move, almost nothing happens. Light screen. That's fine. I'm a physical attacker. <laughs> ah, air cut. The air has been cut. That was a crit. Unbelievable. Chiro goes to 30. All right, almost at that level cap of 32. Slowpoke is next. Um... Espus probably makes the most sense, although Slowbro is a physical attacker, or special attacker. Oh, it's just a slow poke. I was thinking Slowbro. I guess I could have sent anybody out for that. Damn. Damn, that sucks. Maybe Gunk Shot will just KO off with pure power. Hell yeah. Got more electrode. Um, explosion threat. So we're going with Colossus. Well, 
Electric, so it's weak against Bulldoze. It is going to outspeed, though. Oh, that's neutral, because I'm a rock type. I always forget that. Oh, and that boost special attack. That's a... I forgot how good Charge Beam is of a move in this game. I really hope that... That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, Because now he might blow up, but he might not outspeed because I use Bulldoze. Use Charge Beam again. Okay, that's fine. I mean, when you have one health, is there any better time to explode? <laughs> Probably not, but hey, we got away with one there. So now we're facing Ace Trainers and not... Bad guys? I don't understand... What we're supposed to be doing. To be honest with you, I have no idea what's going on in this game. And I'm about two minutes away from being like, alright, I gotta go read or something. But there's nothing here? This is just a dumb end area? Oh my god, the encounter rate's way too high! And I couldn't get away, and then I used Whirlwind, which failed. <laughs> so basically, you're saying that first turn was just moot. There's nothing here. Oh. Black Flute! Isn't that what color flutes normally are? No, it's recorders, not flutes. Let's see what that does. Hopefully it doesn't let any Pokemon come near me. Worth money. Okay, um, I'm going to slam save here. Uh, Dire went down, but I'm going to save you guys the walk back to those upward stairs. So that you don't have to see the thousands of encounters. And then I guess we'll finish fighting Team Plasma then. I didn't expect Team Plasma to take an hour to beat. Um, it's kind of a weird decision in this, in this playthrough. But hey, to the game designers, whatever, you do you. Make make me fight Team Plasma for seven hours while in Charge Stone Cave, where there's only like three different types of Pokemon. Whatever, it's fine. Um, we'll come back. I'll be a little bit closer to the end goal when I come back. Bye bye.